entire building. We are about to see a beautiful sight of the Canadian flag reflecting right off the building. It makes for quite a good picture if I do say so myself. Of course, that the aforementioned flag is located right on Olet Avenue, which also contains many different restaurants if you're at all interested in stopping by. One of my personal favorites is the Loose Goose, and I don't just say that because my friend works there. They have some very delicious chicken wings if you're at all interested. Of course, as mentioned, we are right in front of Dieppe Gardens, also just simply known as Dieppe Park. It is named a memorial to all of those who lost their lives, landing at Dieppe, France, in 1942 during World War II. At dawn on August 19, 1942, Allied forces descended onto the beaches of Dieppe in an attempt to gain a temporary foothold in Nazi-occupied Europe. What followed was one of the bloodiest battles of the Second World War. Among the 5,000 Canadians who landed at Dieppe, there were more than 550 soldiers from the Essex Scottish region. So, Winter Essex. A few hours later, almost 1,000 Canadians were dead, including 121 members of the Winter Essex Scottish Regiment. Nearly every family in Winter Essex County was touched as the tragic news found its way home. The raid on Dieppe has been described as a flawed strategy and the biggest blunder of the Second World War, but many veterans beg to differ, saying it taught them an important lesson that helped them in the successful D-Day invasion that followed less than two years later. The park features many monuments commemorating World War II, as well as many beautiful flowers. It also contains that there beautiful fountain, which is up which is to mark the twin city relationship we have with Udine, Italy. The story behind that is Udine, Italy approach Windsor, suggesting they join us in a twin city relationship. And then Windsor was all like, all right, girl. And thus the fountain was built. Udine, Italy has a corresponding fountain to also mark the twin city relationship as well. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we will be docking very shortly. I would like to take this time to thank you for coming aboard Winter Cruise and hope you had an excellent time. If you're at all interested in coming back, we have more than just sightseeing cruises. We have the aforementioned dinner cruises, musical cruises where live performers ought to come on board and you can listen to some good old music as you go down the Troy River. We have party cruises as well along with the aforementioned eight-hour cruise going all the way from our dock right here to Amherstburg, Ontario, allowing you to see everything the river has to offer. If you're at all interested in any of these or any other events, we recommend you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, where we up post updates on our, on our upcoming events and cruises. Oh, never mind, apparently the Amherstburg tour was cancelled. I was not informed of this earlier. By the way, I hope you enjoyed yourself on our cruise, and we hope to see you again in the future. My name is Craig Brunet, and I hope you have an excellent rest of your weekend.